thanks for the opportunity to speak with you all tonight. My name is Brittany Zajic, and I'm on the business development team here at Planet. Uh, business development means something different at every company, and here we focus on strategic partnerships and the commercialization of new markets. Uh, I also lead our disaster response operations, which is part of our social impact initiatives, where we provide satellite imagery to first responders and official stakeholders in the event of a large natural disaster anywhere in the world. And while not exactly a natural disaster, COVID-19 is very much a global health, uh, global public health crisis reshaping all of our behaviors and our environmental systems. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how satellite imagery is helping us better understand the impacts of this pandemic. So by capturing a series of places in different points of time, satellite imagery is able to tell an important story. So when millions of people began sheltering in place earlier this year, many looked to Planet asking how we could help. So how can satellite Im imagery help during a pandemic? Tonight, I am going to showcase a few of the many applications surrounding the economic and environmental impacts of COVID-19. First, we head to Wuhan, China to see the start of their shelter in place. In these first two comparisons, we see a stark difference of traffic patterns in these images taken only two weeks apart with not a single car in sight starting January 28th. And I'll go back one more time. I know this is quick. We then shift uh, to expand further beyond just the limited car transportation. And instead think about the closures of factories, construction sites and all other industrial activities that had a dramatic effect on the air quality in regions of, uh, and parts of China. Here is a comparison over a portion of Beijing uh, from the start of the year on the left to March 2020 on the right. We then shift to Italy, the next epicenter of COVID-19. Many media outlets spoke to, of the now quiet, uh, quiet canals and the cleaner waters running through the city, which was largely captured in these series of images here. I'll run through these one more time. So this is October 2019, March 2020, February 28, 2020, and March 15th. So Finally, we have the next epicenter that migrates to the United States, where it continues to remain today. Um, New York was hit hardest, and here we can see the construction of a temporary hospital in none other than Central Park, Manhattan, in the heart of New York. The rest of the United States followed suit soon after and shut down as well. So from the Bay Bridge toll that uh, you take from going to Oakland to downtown San Francisco, to the decrease in air travel, uh, here's a Southern California logistics airport. And um, just to, think, to highlight, you know, we can see all the airplanes stacked up, uh, not being in use. To the empty beaches of Miami, uh, Miami Beach, Florida. And then also the empty parking lots of Disney World in Orlando, Florida. So it's pretty incredible for satellites to be able to so clearly capture uh, this pause on life that has been experienced, uh, that we've all been experiencing these past couple of months. Now, there is no question that one data set has been able to tell a great story, but planet imagery combined with multiple other data sets is going to be able to tell us even more. So I'm going to spend the remainder of this talk today talking about eodashboard.org, an international collaboration among space agencies that is central to the success of satellite Earth observation and data analysis. So the tri-agency COVID-19 dashboard is a concentrated effort between the European Space Agency, the Japanese Space Agency, and NASA. The dashboard combines the resources, technical knowledge, and expertise of these three partner organizations to strengthen our global understanding of the environmental and economic impacts of COVID-19. 
So if we remember back to my early example in Venice, Italy, we visually saw the difference of boat traffic and water turbidity. Now with the EOS, EOS dashboard using information from several different satellites and sensor types, we're able to turn that visualization into a quantitative ass assessment and observation, which is incredibly valuable when measuring environmental and economic indicators or factors. So a second example of these quantitative metrics is the air quality in Beijing. Again, deriving these insights from an entire suite of different satellites. The ability to analyze these trends from space aids the effort to fight and defeat this pandemic. So I leave you all with uh, encouraging you to further explore this dashboard and learn more about how COVID-19 is impacting people all over the world and explore it through the lens of satellite imagery uh, because together we can defeat this. Thank you. I said that, I said that tonight We could all be stars I said, I said that, I said that tonight We could all be stars I said that, I said that tonight We could all be stars